Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. I just want to quickly say something. I had some graphical issues in not last episode, but the one before. And it was the balance mod that caused them, but they have since been completely and utterly fixed. It was an error that the developer had released with the latest patch and they knew what it was immediately upon me reporting it. So do not worry about that. Um, please feel free to install the mod that has been fixed. Anyways, I randomized before this video because I tried to record and um, I don't know, I, my mic wasn't working or something. I can't remember what it was now. It was yesterday. Um, but I randomized the Lost. So we're playing as the Lost. Um, and it's probably going to be a little bit of a harder time, I'm sure. Uh, but we'll give it a go anyways. We do have the heart tokens enabled for the Lost. I've also noticed one thing that you might be able to see already is that the Lost tends to play at a slightly lower frame rate. And, oh my lord, I'm not really sure what causes it. Oh, fuck me. Okay. This guy is, um, very tough. I don't know if he can fire diagonally, and I'm scared that he might. This is tricky. I'm going to stay on my diagonals if I can. Okay, that was... That was kind of scary. But yeah, as for the question of the day today, what is the funniest joke you know? This is a really good one. Honestly, for me, I, I, I don't know if I can say it. <laughs> um... I don't, do, like, telling, specifically telling jokes isn't something I do that often, so I don't really have any, like, great ones off the top of my head. This is more just a question of the day that I'd love to hear your guys' responses from, because I'm sure they'd be quite interesting. I do have one that I heard, like, back in college, school, but it's, like, not a particularly good one for, um, for YouTube, so I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, yeah. I, I, like, I definitely, I, I definitely do appreciate dark humor jokes. Um, obviously everything, every, every, like, you can't push it too far, but I, I, I do tend to enjoy dark humor. Which, apparently, I learned, uh, recently, I, I say I learned, I saw, I saw a, a study about, no, uh, there's no efficacy to, as to how accurate it actually was. I'll take that, because it can destroy rocks. Um, but, um... Apparently, enjoying dark humor at a younger age is uh, implies that you're more likely to be um, more. You're, you're like more likely to get Alzheimer's in your older age. Apparently, there's a correlation between those two. I don't know exactly how accurate that is, but that's kind of scary because I, I have dark humor, and a lot of people I know have dark humor, so kind of scary. Nice, the double soul heart, super useful there. But yeah, we can use this cart to like run over rocks and stuff. It's pretty, it's pretty useful. I, I, I realized that I say that directly after having bombed a tinted rock that I had absolutely no earthly reason to bomb. Um, but uh, just, just, just don't, just shush. Also, useless trinket for us. Why did I even pick it up? A. Hey. There's a heart token. So heart tokens there, they can they only last for one floor, but they can be used for like blood donation and sacrificing and stuff like that. It's pretty good. Excuse me, why why aren't you Thank you. That's all I wanted to do. Boom. So now we've got three heart tokens. Obviously this floor they probably won't be that useful, but in other floors they might be. <laughs> I love just bashing this thing around. <laughs> it's super useful. Pill there, we'll take it. Amnesia, oh no. I wonder where I've got to go. Do you want to dive directly into this? <laughs> that was really fun. That was really fun. <laughs> I've never really used the cart this offensively. It's quite fun. It's quite fun. I want to try, if I can, to destroy the pots, but it's it's not super easy. <laughs> Especially when the pooping out spiders like crazy. Go! Dude, the spider bonked it. So many spiders, I just want a quarter, please. Oh my lord! <laughs> Spiders won't leave me the hell alone. God damn. God damn. 
One second. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I've just ordered my uh, my mum a birthday present because I'm seeing her this weekend. Um, I'll try to re-roll that. Yeah, analog stick's fine by me. Um, yeah, I just ordered my mum a birthday present because it was her birthday yesterday and I'm seeing her this weekend, so I thought I'd just bring it. Um, but anyways, uh, I, I just ordered something on Amazon and... It was on my friend's Amazon Prime because he's letting me use it, but it uh, it declined. I, I ordered two different things and it declined one of them, but not the other. Like it declined my card for one of the purchases, but not the other. And I definitely have sufficient funds for it, so I have absolutely no idea why it did that. So I've tried reordering. We have to keep checking up and see. That's very strange. I ordered my, my mum two of the greatest presents ever known. I ordered her a- oh shit. Um, oh fucking, I hate these little wispy boys. Try, I'm trying to kill the wisp boy first, because if he gets near me, I'm going to die. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I ordered two of the best presents known to man also. This room, oof. The 30 FPS is strong with this one. Oh lord. Why is the downpour so laggy? It's It's a sad, sad truth. Um, but yeah, so I, I ordered her a garlic press and a cheesecloth. The best presents ever. As I've mentioned many a time, I'm, I'm quite into cooking, but I'm only quite into cooking because my mum was quite into cooking, so it kind of got passed down. So we we usually end up buying each other various kitchen gadgets and, and kitchen-related things for each other's birthday. Um, and so this time, we, when I was on holiday with her last, last week, two weeks ago now, um, we were talking about making tzatziki, which is what I've been eating a ton of. And to make it, you have to drain cucumber. You have to, like, drain all the liquid out of cucumber. And she was saying about using a tea towel to do it. So I was like, why don't you just use cheesecloth? And she was like, oh, well, I don't have cheesecloth. So I was like, oh, well, perfect. I will buy you some then. Oh, that was a rather bad hit there. Dun, 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 dun. I almost messed up there. I didn't realize that was the champion that split into two. I almost walked directly into them. Luckily, I was still paying attention to the uh, the shadows. The reflection, shall I say. It's not really a shadow, is it? Kind of cleared this floor out. Um, I guess I'll do my dice room in case it's like a... In case it's like a five room or something. It could be valuable. I should probably go and do my boss prior to taking a look here. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to walk all the way back. But we're here now. It's a four room. Rerolls all pedestals? Eh. Unlikely to be super useful. I guess if I get a health upgrade, I could utilize that. Anyways, let's go fight our boss. I'd like to get some more stat increases. Of course, so far, two fire rate upgrades. I'm definitely not going to tear my nose up at that. Um, but I'd like a bit more. Ooh, we might die. <laughs> Honestly, this is a boss that I love, but I'm not very good at. So I'm going to utilize my bombs. Oh, for you had to do the dash, didn't you? I can't remember what this guy does. It's this. <laughs> I, was, I knew he'd chase me, but I didn't know in, in what way. Okay, nice. Okay, we managed it. We got the water tubers. That's a tears up. I'm just going to take that. And then we'll pop in here and see what we end up getting. Um, I will reroll and I will take Rotten Baby. Nice. Okay, this isn't too bad so far. And we don't need to use our, um, our reroll room at all. Not bad at all. I've got a can of Coke next to me. Caffeine-free diet Coke. I never thought I'd see the day where I'm drinking that sort of stuff, but it's all I can have. Boom, ba, boom, boom. We've got two heart tokens already on this floor. Damn, the tears up are coming hot and fast today. We've almost hit tier cap already and we're on the third floor. That is pretty uncommon. Very, very nice for us. Also, yeah, having um, having Rotten Baby is real nice. I think Rotten Baby is a very, very good baby from the Devil Deal Pool. Like, obviously, it doesn't really compare to stuff like Guppy's Head, but considering it's a passive, it does a pretty good job. Especially, obviously, considering it scales well with your own damage. Really don't mind it at all. You did the bouncy. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. We'll just accept it as a as a miracle and move on with our lives. Nice. But yeah, in, in like as well as like what's your favorite joke? What's what's some 
What's some specific humor that like that, that, that just really gets you? Uh, one thing that I watched recently that I highly recommend any anyone watch um, that my friend showed me is uh, a show called I Think You Should Leave Now. Um, it's on Netflix and oh my god, it's just hilarious. Uh, it's a sketch show and to be honest, sketch shows are like, I really, I really love sketch shows. I think sketch shows are absolutely brilliant. Um, for the, for the most part, of course, not every sketch show is going to be a 10 out of 10, but most of the time sketch shows are pretty damn good. Um, did I skip a, a curse room previously? But yeah, I, I really, really like them. Unfortunately, I cannot grab that uh, spicy key because I'm pretty sure that'll take my mantle away and I will die. But yeah, I just love them and I think you should leave now. It's just, it's one of the most absurd sketch shows I've ever seen. It's just so random and nonsensical and unpredictable. Just, it takes so many turns that you wouldn't predict and me and my friend find ourselves quoting it all the time. I think I spoke about it previously on the channel, I can't even remember, but there's one specific sketch that I really find hilarious. Um, ooh, this is a really good combination with our cart. Um, that I find really hilarious. Ooh, yes, please. Um, we always get a curse, but the curses have benefits. I really like the idea behind that. Um, yeah, there's, there's a f there's like, this one sketch where, like, a university professor is, like, having a meal with some of his former students. And, oh my god, it's just, it's just hilarious. Like, the, the university professor, he's just, like, the weirdest dude. And, like, this guy orders a burger, and he just, <laughs> he just, like, as soon as it comes, he's like, I should have ordered that. I should have ordered that. Ah, ah, I should have ordered that. <laughs> and he's just, like, constantly repeating that he should, oh, for god's sake, that he should have ordered it. And he's, like, really frustrated that he didn't. Um... <laughs> uh, do we want to go? Yeah, I'll do my white fire. Why not? I don't. Well, I don't need to do the white fire as such. But you know what I mean. Um, and he's like super frustrated that he didn't order this burger. And he's like, ah, oh, ah. And he's like, give me a bite. Give me a bite. And he's like, nope, nope. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> and he just keeps doing it. And eventually, the guy goes, "Do you want to try my burger?" And he's like. I would love that. I'd love to try a burger. And then, and then um, he just picks it up and he's just like, actually, I'm going to eat the whole thing. <laughs> he just steals his food off of his plate and starts eating it. Ooh, Degas. Degas is kind of interesting because it removes a curse, but we probably don't want to be removing curses so much. This is interesting, actually, because we can take this D7 card here and utilize it in the shop. Yeah, and <laughs> and then he's he gets like really snarky with them. He's like, "Are you going to are you going to tell anyone that I just did that? That I just, uh, just ate your burger?" And they're like, "No, no, we won't tell anyone." It's like, "Give me let me let me record you saying that you've killed the president because if then if you tell anyone I can release it." <laughs> he's like trying to get like blackmail over them and they're like, "No." <laughs> it's like, "No, no, no. Just just let me record you saying it." Oh, it's it's just so it's so strange. It doesn't it doesn't describe as well as it plays out. Oh. Oof. Oof, I need my money like desperately. I can't even remember what the boss was now. Oh, it's you. Okay. That's fine. You're a, you're a small version of you. What the hell? Like a very small version of you. Is, is the water tumor slowing enemies every now and again? I think it is. It's spawning like black tar when it shoots. Is it is it shooting? I have no idea. I'm confused. Yes. Slightly better tears up. Right. We have to somehow find four cent among this kooky place. I'm thinking that that's going to be the way to do it. Thank you. Um, we could bomb this. This could be potentially something. Oh, yes. You see? Coming in clutch. With the champion belt. That is, that, 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 that's awesome. That card is super useful now. <laughs> I always forget you can do that. 
Very, very useful in my eyes. Yeah, I really like this uh, this idea between the lime scale, whatever it's called, and the um, the minecart. I did almost push the minecart into the mirror then. I'm not a hundred percent sure if that would have broke it. In fact, I'm curious to find out if it would have done. Let's 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 take a little peek, shall we? Because that'd be very interesting. Oh, imagine if I'd accidentally whacked that into the mirror, broke it, and got myself stuck. In fact, actually. Very good point. I should destroy the mirror to get higher reflected item chances because the lost benefits highly from reflected items. So blowing that up is a very good idea. Higher reflected item chance. I believe it's only like a 7% increase or something like that. It's not huge, but it's, it's enough to make a bit of a difference. Right. We outie. Yeah, we had another run with this lime scale thing kind of recently, didn't we? Right, but this is this has been a pretty good run for items so far. Um, I don't think I want to smelt that. That minecart looks like it's part of his kit. <laughs> pretty interesting. Oh, one second. Okay, sorry for all the pausing. More Amazon issues. Apparently, I was just using my old card. Because I'm a dumb fuck. And I didn't realize my old card was on that account. Don't think you'll end up doing much. I don't have any heart counters, so I can't play you. Do have all the black hearts there, though. But they ain't going to do much for me right now. There is another mega chest in our challenge room. I seem to keep getting mega chests. Like, constantly. And I never have enough keys to play them. Also, just so many soul hearts here. Ooh, this is an interesting room, I've got to say. Very intriguing. Money up! Why did that money disappear? Is that a curse that I've got? Curse of the Swine, it must be. I am not a big fan of this idea. Okay, it's not its not so bad once you kill that dude. Oh, God. A bunch of these guys are about. Oh, I love these smoky jars. Throw up all the ciggies. I think things just disappear after a short time. These guys can be particularly difficult. I think secret room's here. I'm sure to check it out. That it is. Sadly not a great secret room for us though. As always. There's a heart there for us. An Empress card there. We'll check out our shop real quick. Um, I'd rather go over here. And just pop these three buttons. Oh my god. Every single one of them. Thank god there was explosive enemies in there. Because that would have been rough otherwise. Bad. Bad. Yes. Got one of those marshmallow fellas. I love these dudes that can like pick up rocks and then fling them into the air. So cool. Trade some money for some more money. Thank you. Love that concept. Um, let's try reroll. Okay, we didn't get anything. Oh, abyss bombs. That's that's decent. See, now I've got these heart tokens, and technically they should work on these, but I don't know if they will. I should be able to use them on that that chest there, but I'm scared that it won't work, and I'll just die. So I'm not gonna try it. Right. My my little cart blocked that then. Oh, bugger. I, d I was meaning to destroy that mushroom. I did not think it would fart at me. The abyss bombs are so strong. I, I've got two different items in my mod pack now that can drop abyss flies on using a bomb. One of them is purely a bomb upgrade. The other one is a bomb slash on kill get locusts as well. I think enemies are just dropping temporary money when they die. Like every every source is giving us some excess temporary money. Like not really a downside at all. It's just extra I wouldn't have otherwise. Dude, can't if you could. 
play my game, please, and go over near all of these rocks? Dude, oh my god. It's so hard to turn the cart around. Okay. We've got Singe here. Obviously, a bit of a pain in the ass. He's not terrible. He can be a little annoying. Really depends where he decides to land. But this time around, he's not going to be too bad at all. I don't know where he's landing right now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, he wasn't too bad at all. More tears. Hell yes. Oh my god, 6.68 .6 tears. That is a very, very, very good pickup for us. I will take it. Because it means we get a devil deal at the end of every boss. And while I don't have a ton of bosses left, it's still useful. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Yep. Um. Yep. I didn't realize how fucking deadly that room was until, like, too late. I also don't really know what actually killed me. I think a falling rock hit me, but that room scared the bejeebus out of me. That's a very hard room. Um, okay. Well, I'm not really sure what to do now because the episode's already fairly long. Also, I just spawned with three curses at once. Uh, what up with that? I'm not really sure. I can't really do another full run. Um, let me have a think. <laughs> I don't really know where to go from here. I'm trying to pick a character that could be quite fit fast. I'm not really sure. I'm just going to have a little chat and um, and piss around for a bit. Nah, let's just go as Tainted Lost, shall we? Just go as Tainted Lost. Why not? That'll be reasonably quick. Uh, why is all the uh, markings on the floor there disappeared? Yeah, this guy will be will be reasonably fast, I think. Should probably pop my holy car. That'd be a good idea. God damn, Isaac could be a cruel mistress, and recently it's been extra cruel. But that room. I don't know if the room was particularly hard, but it scared me. There was a lot going on. I didn't really know how to process it, and and my small, small brain did not deal well. I love Tainted Lost. Tainted Lost is, is one of my favorite characters. Do um like beating Tainted Lost was such an enjoyable and fun journey. Um the first time round. I did a decent amount of it off camera just because there was a lot and a lot of restarting. Um, well, I won't say restarting, but obviously dying. So I did, I did a good amount of it off camera. I think I only did three of my victory runs for Tainted Lost on video. The rest were all off. Um, like the Beast was the hardest one that I did, and that one was off camera. Um, which is a kind of a shame because people didn't get to see the full journey. But at the same time, it would have taken me forever. So, but I, I really enjoyed it. Some people hate Tainted Lost. I I really enjoy him. I think he's a lot of fun. There's definitely a few things that I don't like about him. Like I don't like how. When you have perfection, you get chests all the time, which means haunted chests and spike chests are really common. Um, that has got me killed way too many times uh, to count, which was very, very annoying. But at the same time, it's like, eh, I'm not going to complain too much. Okay, thank you for blowing up and killing everything. I just like the fact that you start with... Oh, that is rough. I like the fact that you start with um, a nice amount of extra damage. It's just really nice. And obviously, the, the better quality items overall, not all the time, but overall, is pretty nice. Metronome is not one of those better quality items, I will say. I'll take a pill, why not? Speed up. Speed up's pretty good. Speed up. Make our way over to the boss fight. And we got Red Key, which is completely useless for us. I suppose I could grab um, Plum Flute. But honestly, Metronome ain't, ain't half bad. I respect 
I respect um, Metronome. I just wish it was one room charge like it used to be. It deserves to be. It was kind of overpowered at one room charge, but I'd rather it be overpowered than mostly useless. <laughs> Tears up there, nice. Carry on the normal path. Should have checked my shop for a holy card. I'm a bit out of practice. Which you might already be able to tell. Nice, nice, nice. Destroyed all the doors. Doesn't help us too much. But yeah, just some interesting stuff you can end up getting with a metronome. Of course, the fact that you can get like death certificate and stuff is pretty awesome. Sometimes you get stuff like that that's just completely useless. A lot of the time, to be honest, you get stuff that's completely useless. I'll, I'll be, I'll be frank. I love the way that guy smacks things. Go down, fella. We got Vade in this room, spawning all the ghosts. That's decent as a trinket. As far as trinkets go, that's pretty decent. Shoot a few of these. I probably won't last long, to be honest, as uh, Tainted Lost, considering how I've been playing recently. But we'll see how it goes. We got Lil Hushy. Who we can fire through to get Continuum shots with the buff that I've got for him. Which is pretty interesting. It's a it's a, a nice small buff to him. It's not huge. It's interesting though. Another active. Thank you. Thank you. How uh, how kind and generous of you to give me something that useless to me. All the champions are really making me squirm a little bit. Oh hello, you could, you turned blue. Do you normally turn blue? I think it's just because you're a champion, isn't it? That's pretty cool looking. Yeah, I'm not going to use my active anymore because I'd rather save it for my boss at this point. Oh, fuck! I didn't realize you fired actual fire. Okay, got rid of all the fire sources, so you're pretty much neutered. And we get soy milk for the boss fight. Huzzah! Beautiful. I think we definitely want that. I think we get the hell out of here. Right. Let's be gone. <laughs> Honestly, not too bad of a run going on here. Not too bad of a run. Obviously, the fact that we don't currently have a, um, a, a card active is the biggest yikes. That is quite the big yikes. But otherwise, things are going decently. And um, Eye of Belial is just amazing. Herming, piercing, it's just, it's, it's got it all. It's got it all. Apparently we're stunning enemies somehow as well. Oh, thank you. A HP up for one room, how, how generous. That's the thing about Metronome, there's just so many items they can give you that do nothing. Well, I don't really get why it was nerfed. It can give you some really strong stuff, but it can equally give you some just useless stuff. That is, oh, dangerous but lovely. An item that I cherish. Camo undies for six cent? Hell yeah. That's going to be quite nice. <laughs> Honestly, this run is coming together. This this run's got some really, really, really good elements. So I've, I'm, I'm kind of hoping we do find a holy card pretty soon. I was kind of using this as just a way to have a throwaway run, but now I'm like, mm, do you know what? This run has some legs.
Whoa! Why the hell did you do that? That was weird. No holy card for us there. Hero font card's not going to do much for us. We can sleep in a bed to get holy mantle back if we find one. I've got a mod that allows for that, which is pretty useful. That, it's a risk. I was just about to say it's a risk, but there's a very good chance we get a holy card and we got two. That was well worth it. <laughs> okay, this run could go the distance now. We've got a holy card in use and one spare, which is crazy good, crazy good. Now, I think two things we rely on is making sure we utilize camo undies as much as possible is probably the biggest thing for this run. Getting more damage is another. Damage is, like, super important as this character. Why did my camo undies not work there? Is it because I was holding fire when I entered the room? I think it was. I think you just got to make sure you're not holding fire when you enter. Sometimes you just don't get that bonus. Ah, you bugger. Kind of saw that one coming, but it is what it is. We we've lost up a holy card already, but that's why we that's why I'm glad we had a second. <sighs> we got sacred orb for this room. Pretty useless for a one room item. Why are you so small? You're so small and you fire out lads so big. Excuse me, sir. There you go. You confused me for a second there, my ladder. But yeah, we do have perfection now, which is good. We do have the... The... Good luck on our side. That was kind of risky, having a Minecrafter there. No holy card for us here. Lots of money, though. Got the no trinket there in case we ever want it. Really don't like these enemies. They can screw up so hard. Can you, like, pop out, please? There you go. Scary. We got it. Oh, back we go. Do you know what? Just blow that up and get it out of the way with. It's going to scare the bejeebus out of me if I don't. Got some speed while we got camo undies as well, which is super nice. That was close. Always makes me super, like, quiet and nervous when playing as this character. I also do have Concussion there, but it's very close range. So I, I really would rather not use it. The hell's alive? Oh, hello. Doorstop is pretty darn good. Um... Unfortunately, we didn't get any useful dice there, really. That's sad. We do have an item here. I don't think it's worth it. It could be good, but there's an equal chance it could be kind of useless. Yeah, I don't want to risk it. Don't want to risk anything I don't have to on this run, essentially. The only thing I'm risking is using our space bar. <laughs> but that's a risk I am willing to take. Because fun. Got you. Oh, 
hello, sir. I love the fact that it tells you when they're in the room now. Such a good change. You fucking... You fucking kidding me? <laughs> Why am I firing ducks now? What's this bullshit? <laughs> what did you do to my run? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Metronome. How could you? <laughs> We had it all together, and now we're firing out fucking emojis. Everything was going... Everything was going so well. And now I'm shooting fucking emojis. I've got the crying laughing face. You... Oh, that actually hurts us, does it? Shouldn't. It's very annoying that that did, because it shouldn't. Shouldn't take away your holy mantles, or else it shouldn't hurt you at all. Oh, boy. This run went downhill real fast. <laughs> Fuck me sideways. That was annoying. How could you? How could you? I trusted you. I put my faith in you. And you slapped me in the face like this. Now I'm going to have to go all the way over here and reroll my fucking run again to see if I get anything better. Good. Good, good, good. I can't remember what my space bar was, but it's gone now. But what's my space bar? Oh, it was fucking metronome, obviously. But now we have fire mind, which should be healthy. With this much luck, should be real good for us. We have an active. Actually, we have two actives that are pretty fucking hard for us to use. Isn't this going to be a fun time? Oh, spike chest, you almost got me, you tricky fucker. Oh, the anger. Metronome, how fucking could you? I, I literally put my life in your hands and you ruined me. Ruined me, savage. You roll the dice, prepare to get burnt. I'm definitely going to end up killing myself with a fire explosion. Fuck. <laughs> Anyways, that ends it off. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. That was all the fun. And I'll see you guys in the next one.